How to make by? Welcome to the third video in this series where I essentially drill a hole in a guitar and then try very very hard to prove that it's a good idea. So in the first video I drilled a hole and I put a lid on it. Second episode I put a contact mic on the lid. So this is the I also haven't tuned it since the beginning. Might do that in this video. So st stay tuned for that. <laughs> Stupid. In this video, we're gonna be a bit more experimental with this. And hopefully it's gonna turn out fantastic. I don't know. New lid. Very good. A slinky. I have a couple of different sizes of slinky actually. But we're gonna go with the biggest one because that's cooler. But these are backups in case this is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, so I'm somehow gonna attach the slinky to the guitar in the hole. Probably to the contact microphone lid. But a new one then I guess? It doesn't matter which lid it is. But yeah, so I uh, snap out the lid and I, I'm able to pull out the slinky. I think I want to have like a hook or something so I can attach it. But I don't know... Like easiest thing to do would be to just put it at the... Uh, like in here. But then it's attached to the back of the guitar. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe this guitar single won't have anything to do with the slinky. It's just a slinky toy guitar. So you get the spacey, lasery, slinky sound. Maybe if I try to attach it here first, then we see if the signal can actually go f through the slinky to duct tape the slinky straight to where the strings are, because then I wanna somehow attach it to... Thankfully, I am very creative, so I am automatically very solution oriented. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure how cool it is, but it's cool enough for me to risk it all. So let's uh, YOLO it completely. So then I have something like this that I should be able to put down there. Might be a few attempts to get this good though. Not sure. I'm gonna uh, tune the guitar, I'm gonna set up a cool angle, and we'll continue from there. This is very exciting. I'm actually a tiny bit amazed. Uh, huh. Huh. I now have this cool angle here, where I will hopefully be able to get a good look at the slinky while I play. Huh? It's so, that's so cool looking. <laughs> In my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know, should I put it like this? Nice. Definitely have all of the spacey laser effects. I don't know if it's annoying or not. Like, it's most likely really cool through pedals as well. But the cool thing is that if we amp the signal, which is a bad idea to do, but then we get the guitar through it. I have to have it at the perfect length or something. But it's really cool that it, it's reverbing as well. I also brought forth the impact though, so we can have a tiny bit of a drum beat at the same time. Just to do something. Bad, I'm really bad at it. so crazy I'm playing pretty poorly because I'm listening a lot because it's so insane I really like it when I don't have to play hard at all like I can just if I barely touch it but I get all of that reverb instead of like getting all that attack that, It's like a wobbling river. That's 
that's how you play it properly. very hard to come up with how to play it to utilize that one not really getting anywhere with it though how you're supposed to play this I don't know uh, very satisfied with the experiment getting kind of hungry it might not be the most convenient uh, thing in the world But it's actually not that bad. Oh, I feel like I need to play a reverb. Solved it. Uh, hmm. I wonder what the next experiment is gonna be with this hole. Hmm. You never know. Anyways. I mean, did you expect it to work that well? I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't have anything cool to say to end it, to be honest. I'm just really happy it worked out. I'm gonna figure out something really nice for me with my limited uh, capacity of guitar playing to play on acoustic guitar with this reverb effect. It's also like, it's only a piezo straight to an output as the signal. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. This is the world's first official slinky toy guitar. I've reached my peak, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my...